Oh boy. It is snowing pretty good where I live. We got hit with a good sized snowstorm of about 18 to 20 inches. Uh, I think I got more than that in my driveway because I had snow well up over my waist. But anyways, this is Dirty Dan, the municipal man here, formerly known as Woodgy. Decided I would change my channel name. Um, I've had my YouTube channel for about 15 years and I would like to be doing some more content. So I think I need a better name. So Dirty Dan it is. All right, so today's video is going to be why you need snow tires for your Crown Vic. And we're gonna make this real short and sweet. So on this car here is a set of Goodyear Ultra Grip Ice WRTs. These are studless snow tires. And let me tell you, Crown Vicks are rear wheel drive cars. And obviously rear wheel drive is not ideal when you have snow piles that are five feet high and tons of snow on the ground. If you live in an area where you get any semblance of snow, like where we get here, snow tires are not an option. You need to buy them. All season tires on these cars just don't cut it. Every time I get on the Facebook forums, honestly, the car groups are probably the only reason I keep Facebook these days. But every time I get on the forums, I see people saying, oh, my Crown Vic sucks in the snow. It's rear wheel drive and it sucks in the snow. I can't get anywhere. Well, what kind of tires are you running? Are you running all season tires because you're trying to be cheap? Yeah, well, your car's gonna suck in the snow. You need to get snow tires. This specific car has an open differential. There is no track lock in this car. And even with all the snow on the ground, I'm getting around fine. The secret is to, well, wouldn't you know it, get good snow tires. I've got snow tires on all four corners of the car and I've got 200 pounds of sandbags and tools in the trunk. So on top of the weight in the trunk, the snow tires on the car, even with an open differential, I'm still getting around. Obviously there's a learning curve to driving a rear wheel drive car in the snow. You're gonna have to start out slow, give yourself extra time to stop, give yourself extra time to start. But if you learn the dynamics of your car and how it handles in the snow, you'll be just fine. So what I'm telling you is that if you've got a Crown Vic or a rear wheel drive car and you're thinking about snow tires and you live in an area that gets a substantial amount of snow, get them. Don't question yourself, just go out there and get them, okay? And don't just do the rear tires, do the front. And you might be thinking, why would I do the front tires? You know, the front tires don't drive the car, why do I need snow tires on the front? You need snow tires on the front of your car because believe it or not, your tires contribute to your braking. So you might look at data and see that a car with snow tires will maybe stop five to 10 feet sooner than a car with all season tires. And you're like, ah, five to 10 feet, that doesn't matter. Well, that five to 10 feet of stopping distance could be the difference between you sliding through an intersection and getting in a car accident or hitting somebody in the street and stopping safely. So if you live where you got snow and you got this, you know, gee, it sounds like I'm hammering this point home. I really am because buy yourself some snow tires. Be safe out there. Having a car that is capable in the snow, you know, with good tires, you're not just helping yourself, you're helping other people, okay? So this is Dirty Dan here telling you to stay safe, get yourself some snow tires, Make sure you got good air pressure in there. Get some sandbags in the trunk, because believe it or not, the sandbags make a difference. You want at least 120 to 150 pounds in the trunk, minimum, and you'll be just fine. And again, this is from an open wheel, uh, an open diff car that I'll spin one wheel. Will snow tires keep you from getting stuck? Eh, maybe not. You still possibly could get stuck out there, but if you drive safe, snow tires do make a big difference driving in the crap. So get yourself some tires and be safe out there. Have a good day, everybody.